Hello everyone, Juan González from Cursos Odonto 3D. It's been some time since I upload any English content in my YouTube channel, but today I have a very interesting question from my, one of my students. He asked me how he can design a custom-made uh, guide sleeve, metal sleeve. So in this video I will show you how and this will uh, serve as another uh, lesson for my surgical guide course. If you don't know anything about this course, I encourage you to check this video where I explain everything and what uh, are those contents. Anyway, let's go to the computer and start with this uh, design. So I have here on my screen, actually like so is better. I have here a catalog of a company called Implant Direct. And these are the metal sleeves I need to design and these slips are used as a guide for the drill, right? In order to have a proper uh, perforation. Anyway, if you go to the components module, which is uh, the module from Blender for Dental that has all these uh, parts and all these components, you can go to the Steco company and there you will find some or most of these uh, sleeves or these metal sleeves or metal cylinders however you want to call it from the main companies okay strawman uh, miss uh, bio horizon etc however uh, as you can see there is no direct implant in here so how can we make one exactly like so in order to work with blender for dental well this is very easy and it, it can be done with the correct dimensions what we need is this exactly what i have here in this catalog which are the dimensions of this uh, cylinder so if i import now one example this one miss let's say um, mis <laughs> however you say it in spanish we say miss anyway uh if you if i import this one you may see it is a solid model it has no hole in the middle because this model is just a cutter for uh, for the guide and when we use this element the guide will have the space for the slip and the slip will fit perfectly in place so what I'm going to do is exactly the same thing first since I have here some dimensions I can see upper OD upper diameter is 6 uh, 6.68 millimeters okay so I will add a small circle here in the middle of the scene with exact that with that dimensions okay in order to do it I press add mesh and circle okay and now I get a circle but with a radius of 1000 millimeters which is huge uh, if I press let's say 5 I will get something like so but since I don't need the diameter which is 6.68 but the radius I will use some calculation inside blender <laughs> very complex calculation to divide this diameter by two <laughs> so I can type right there exactly the the numbers and it will give me 3.34 is that easy okay so I have the upper diameter there and now I will uh, design the lower part, which is uh, 584. So the same thing, I can uh, use a shortcut, which I will show you <laughs> here. Uh, and to add the circle, I press Shift and A, and I get this uh, menu where I can choose circle. Okay. So now uh, the size was 584. So I type here. 584 divided by 2 okay and now I have the lower uh, uh, dimension now this part or the height of this element is 3.2 I can decide I can design <laughs> this exactly with that dimension pressing G and then Z and move it downward 3.2 millimeters since it is downward I press the minus sign and it goes down however since uh, this element needs to be bigger longer 
because when I use this cylinder, I need to cut all this uh, structure down here and it doesn't matter because uh, the cylinder have this uh, step in here and when you fit the, the ring in place, it will snap and stop exactly in that step. So it doesn't matter if it, if it is bigger, like, like this uh, example. So what I'm going to do is to move it like that, okay? That's perfect. Finally, I need this height, this uh, small step height. Since it is not designed or uh, described in the catalog, what I did or what we did <laughs> is to uh, use one of these uh, digital caliper and or gauge and measure that dimension. In this case, it's 0.5. So since I already know that dimension, what I have to do is to create a small a cylinder with 0.5 uh, millimeters in height. In order to do it, I go here to edit mode in the upper circle, then press E and Z to move it only in the Z axis. And then I press 0.5 minus to make it um, in the uh, minus direction downward, okay? And then I will do the same thing with the upper circle, but since I need it to be flush with the step, with the upper part, what I'm going to do is to use the magnet tool or the snapping option. So I choose here edge and then I active this magnet tool. I press tab to go into edit mode, E to extrude, Z to constrain it to the Z axis. And when I get to this edge, as you can see, it snaps perfectly in place. Okay, now I have to check if my normals are correct, which can be flipped when I extrude things. And well, basically the normals are the orientation of every uh, face, okay? Normally, all the faces are blue on the outside and red on the inside. But this cylinder, as you can see, is blue on the inside and red on the outside, which means is inside out. So in order to flip it, I go into edit mode. I select this edit mode with tab, then press A to select everything, Alt and N to um, show this menu and click on flip. And now I have it in the correct orientation. Okay, I go out of edit mode and now I need to combine both things and close everything. Okay, in order to do it, I click this one, I will change my face orientation option again, remember in here. I select this one, shift and click, select this one, control and J to join both. Okay, I hope I'm not going so fast. <laughs> anyway, you can go back and repeat this any <laughs> times you like. Now that I have a single object, I can press tab to go into edit mode, then Alt and click to select this circle, which is called a loop in Blender. And the same thing, Shift and L, Alt and click <laughs> to select this other loop. So now I have selected only those two circles. Now I'm going to look for an option with F3, which is called Bridge Edge Loops. I can type here Bridge and it will show under Mesh. So when I click bridge edge loops, that will join or uh, combine those, <laughs> create a phase between those, uh, those parts. And now I have to close the upper part, same as before, Alt and click. I give a click, uh, the click is on the line, okay? Then F to close it. Same thing down here, Alt and F. It's not always recommended to close something with this, which is an n-gon, is, is a, a polygon with too much, uh, too many vertices. But in this case, I think we are going to be just fine. Anyway, that's my my metal slips. That easy. However, it's just one single uh, detail we have to take into account. If I examine this um, this example, you may note that it is a little bit on top or over this red line, which means it's not flat with the 
x-axis it's not flat in the zero um, point of blender so in order to have this element at the exact same spot i can use my snap option which is still active i press g and z to move it in the z axis and when i get here okay one detail i have to choose closest okay now g and z and now when i get to here it will align flush with this element exactly in the same um, height and finally because when i do this i go back here um, i get an origin in a different place look at this the origin is down here and i need it here i have to move the origin exactly to the middle of the world and that can be done clicking uh, right click and choosing set origin origin to 3d cursor and now my origin is right there that's it now i can export this element but i have to export it as a obj file away from obj i will save it in this folder direct implant which is under assets pc where i supposed to save all my assets for my component module and this time i will type here youtube as you can see i already have this uh, cylinders design so i only will save this for demonstration purposes selection only very important okay because i only want to save that element okay click export and now if i uh, restart this i close my scene create a new scene and i go here to my components module which is this one i can go exactly to my direct implant um, folder and here i have the previous uh, cylinders i already designed and my youtube cylinder when i click append it will show in the middle of the scene with the correct dimensions correct shape correct position everything is correct and that's easy is that simple is that simple okay that's it i hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something if you like this video give a thumbs up otherwise give a thumbs down subscribe to the channel i will see you in the next lesson or a next youtube video bye bye